Hey, HAA members, this is Morgan Taylor here to give you a quick recap of industry related news and events happening at HAA this week. Let's get right into it. As expected, the CDC eviction moratorium expired on July 31st. The Biden administration allowed the order to expire over the weekend while urging Congress to pass emergency legislation to create a statutory moratorium. However, Congress declined to proceed. Residents who use the moratorium to evade eviction while not paying rent are now liable for all current and past due rent. JP courts should be operating as they were pre-pandemic. Rental assistance is still available for any resident who needs help. See yesterday's newsletter for more information. Nominate your property for an HAA Honors Award today. The deadline is Friday, August 13th, and as it stands, you have a pretty good chance of being a finalist. Nominate today at haaonline.org slash nominate. The ambassadors are back at it tomorrow, Wednesday, August 4th at Kirby Ice House off Gessner for their monthly meeting. For new suppliers, consider joining the supplier orientation via Zoom. This Thursday is jam packed with events. Katie Rigsby is back teaching Avenues, HAA's professional development series, and she is taking you on Leadership Lane for a session titled Leadership First Management, What is the Difference? Also on Thursday this week, HAA's General Counsel Howard Bookstaff is back with another legal lowdown on fraud and ID theft. And to end Thursday on a high note, the 2021 HAA Next Spelling Bee benefiting the HAA PAC is also on Thursday and open to all HAA members. You can bid to save or sabotage spellers on stage. Should be a really fun event. You can register for all of these events I mentioned and learn more about them at haaonline.org slash events. That is it for this week. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. Bye guys.